This is probably the fastest and easiest Faraday cage to make and one of the absolute best for a non-professional, non-military situation. Just a residential guy like me. This is a, uh, a steel garbage can I picked up at um, Home Depot yesterday and it is going to be my fair. matter of fact it is my Faraday cage. Um, you can use steel, you can use aluminum, uh, copper, uh, any of those uh, materials are, are very good in repelling um, the, the high frequency uh, waves that come from an EMP or a solar burst. Now does it work? Uh, you can tell it's not grounded. It's sitting here in the middle of my uh, driveway here. There's no grounding on it. But how can you tell whether it works? How can you test to see if a Faraday cage works? And some people say microwaves work. How can, how can you tell? Do you stick a cell phone in there? Do you, what do you do? Well, take a look. Hear that? Oh, it's gone. Hear that? What you do is you stick an FM radio inside of your Faraday cage and see if it works. Now what's interesting when I put this radio in, if I have the lid on, you can still hear the radio playing. Let me get a little closer. And when I bring the lid over, it's still playing. I don't know if you can hear it. But when I put the lid down, now all I hear is static. There is absolutely no music at all. Open it up a little bit. Just a tad, break that seal, and you can hear it. The bigger the, the, bigger the opening, the more frequency you get in there. So, you want to make sure that you have a Faraday cage that is going to keep the signal out. Now, you notice I push the antenna down and I'm getting static and some radio but watch what happens when I just stick my finger I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this barrier here just put my finger down in here just break the barrier and that is enough to allow the frequency for my body to be an antenna and bring the, the waves in there so you need to be very careful make sure that you test your Faraday cage before you start using it so I'm gonna turn this radio off tell you how I made it. Uh, this cost me $22 at uh, Home Depot and what I did is I took I took the garbage can and I stopped at a construction site here in my development picked up a couple pieces of garbage cardboard that were in the garbage pile I took my uh, garbage can and set it on top of this piece of uh, uh, cardboard here and drew a circle around it. I don't know if you can see that. Then I just took my knife right here and I just cut just a little bit, maybe a quarter of an inch on the inside and that fit perfectly right on the bottom of here. Just fit right in just like it was made for it, which, which it was. And then I, all, I took my, my measuring tape, measured from the bottom to the top and cut this out. Um, and then I put slits in here about every six inches or so, or oh, maybe about every foot, because it's narrower at the bottom than it is at the top. So now it fits snugly all the way from the bottom to the top, and I just taped it here to hold it in place. Um, and then also for the top, what I did is I just took the lid, put the lid right on here, and just cut with my razor knife all the way around the lid. Then I took the cardboard out and did a slit all the way to the center and just bent the cardboard so it just sits snugly inside the lid. So there's no tape or anything like that. So when this is on there, the metal on the edges of the lid touches the metal on here, seals that up, and I have a Faraday cage. So, what am I going to put in my Faraday cage? I'm going to put in all my um, electronics for my solar panels, my charge controller, my inverter. Um, I'm putting in, of course, my shortwave radio there, AM/FM shortwave radio. Putting in some communications, 
um, putting it in my backup uh, drive for my uh, computer. Anything that has electronics that I'm concerned about is going to go inside of here. Uh, a watch uh, that has, runs on battery. I have an extra watch I'll just throw in here. Uh, now, something you can do is you can have what's called a nested Faraday cage, and that is uh, when I put this radio in here, I'm actually going to put it in its either back in its box or in its case, and then I'm going to wrap an aluminum foil around it. That way, I've got a shield around this, and it's inside of a shielded container. That's called a nested Faraday cage. Um, I'll do a report on on this uh, shortwave radio. Uh, and another video, but it, uh, it's the number one radio, um, bar none. It's the, for the for the price. It's the number one rated radio for shortwave. So if you're thinking about a Faraday cage, uh, I also have some uh, EMP bags. I bought them at uh, EMPbags.com. I got them from uh, the owner actually from EMPbags.com, uh, who is a good friend of mine and uh, has done a. Tremendous amount of research on EMP bags, but that's, an, that's another, another video. So, for something quick, easy, and uh, you can just put things in. And again, these things are, I'll take the battery out of the radio and all the electronics when I put them in here. I also store batteries in here. I'm putting uh, uh, CFL lights in here, or F, whatever they're called, the little fluorescents, because those are electronic, and um, I'm certainly not going to use incandescent lights on my. Um, uh, went on for, with my solar panels because they'll use up too much power. Uh, so think about what has electronics and put it in here. Uh, you want to unplug the uh, uh, power cords because those power cords act as an antenna or uh, uh, any other external wiring and uh, get yourself protected for what may or may never come but with the solar flares you know at a peak in uh, two, uh, 2013 and with possible EMP from nuclear blast, uh, high elevation nu nuclear blast, uh, maybe something you want to consider for $22. Um, I think it's probably a really, really good investment. This is LDS Prepper out.